Before we jump into the how-to steps, let's just do a quick recap. Before we moved the wire for the remote starter, we had to stand right next to our van. Not sure if you're the same, but maybe we could be a meter away, but not even a meter. And now we have the pleasure of being able to lock and unlock our van from our front door. We're gonna take the remote fob wireless receiver or tr transmitter, depending on which way it's going. I guess it's the receiver cord that uses the key fob to open and close the doors and maybe start or stop your car or van. It's just underneath here. There's a wire that goes along here and then basically comes from the middle, goes to here. That's like where it's attempting to get your signal from. But the problem is it doesn't work very well because it's buried inside here. And so one popular mod is you reroute it and put it up in underneath the front dash. So we're gonna do that. This is removing the dash. You can essentially, this is underneath here after you took those other six, one, two, three, four, five, six screws off. And then obviously the side, maybe seven screw, and then you pop that side trimbies off. This will literally just pull out. Another clip, just unplug it, and then you're gonna get your, your thing out and you'll be able to see behind. So, essentially what's under here is a, a black tube. It's white if it's a white van. And on top of it, there is a, so right on the top, there's a wire. That's your wire you wanna get. It's taped on there. So what we are trying to do is just unseat the tape, just pull the tape off, and then we're gonna get access to it. And there's about three pieces of tape there. And eventually we'll get to the center here. We're gonna to have to take out this trim and then this trim, and then the trim on the top is all coming off so we can feed the wire from here and then it'll go up through there and then over onto the top should be better better uh, reception so just to be clear there's up here in the guts of here just past just past this wire loom in behind there can I see up in there there's a, the wire goes up through there and there's a wire that's attached with not fabric tape there's also a zip tie that's right there that I cut off because that's was really holding it on. I don't know if that's gonna be the same for every car but that is how you take you have to cut take that off to get everything else off so the other thing is I ended up taking off the uh, glove compartment, these connectors. And basically the way these work is one of them, this is the first one you take off. You have to like, this is going to lock up like that. You have to push it down. There's a little clip at the top there that you have to push down to get this thing down over. So you see how I have to like push it down and then it opens up. That's key. This one is next. That one just has one push down on the inside of the glove compartment you push that down and it comes up and then same thing with this also just the one you just push that down and then it'll it'll pop up so additional tidbits of help so this is the uh taking this trim piece off here you can see it's i already got it loose i just used these you know little plastic pry tools you don't scratch the plastic that's going to come out and i believe there's one screw behind here then we're gonna be able to take this off. So I'm just gonna keep going around here, try to pry off the uh, thing, doing this one. And one more, and that's it. So this is the emergency brake button. I may or may not take that out as always, just because it, I'm generally a pain in the butt. Oh, this one is okay. So that's out. Now we have one screw here. I'll try and take that out. I don't know if that's a T20. It is. Pretty much everything is being 20 T20 other than some of the other bolts were T25. I'm gonna put this on my place with all my nuts. There's a lot of nuts here, so you don't want to lose them. And 
And then we're back to using, oh, there's two nuts. Another one down here. These don't take a lot of pressure. You just use your... your hands to pull it off. So that's just under there. And that just came out super easy. Okay, so after a little faffing around, figured out that initially I was thinking you would have to bring the cable through here, but you don't actually have to do that. You can just bring it through a hole right there. So you can see this is from the underside and there's a way of just feeding it up there. There's lots of uh, spots for stuff. And yeah, that worked pretty good. There's this this piece here literally just slides into here. This is your your fresh air vent. There's not attached to any sort of heating or anything, but the, that's just cool air that comes in if you want it to. So ran the uh, wire up. I got this vent back in. I'm trying to clean as I go. It's very dusty, but uh, I actually reused, as I saw someone else do in a video, the uh, fabric tape to hold the uh, thing in place here and then just running there. So should have lots of... It should not get caught in that one, uh, one hole. So just to show you how this goes back in, it basically there's little L's and they fit in. And then once they're in, then it's just gonna push on essentially. And so that's tight. It's quite a good system to be honest. And then this will pop on similarly to how it came back off. And now that's on, we'll put the bolts back in for the nuts and it'll be nice and tight. Remote adjusted.